The standard ship kit for the Sensa Gold CGI includes the hard carrying case, the instrument, the instruction manual, three C-cell batteries, two-piece bar hole probe, an extra sensor cap with O-rings, a wrist strap, and the accessories brochure. To install the batteries, we need to remove the battery sleeve by depressing the locking tab. If necessary, we can use a blunt object such as a coin. Slide the sleeve downwards. Install the three C-cell batteries, observing the polarity markings on the battery sleeve. Reinstall the battery sleeve. And then we can then power the instrument on by pressing and holding the A button until the screen illuminates. There will be a system check followed by a brief warm up period. The instrument will then auto zero and we will be at the working display with our gas readings. Before use, we need to check the integrity of the sensor cap. If the filter in the cap is torn or excessively dirty, it needs to be replaced. We also need to do a flow block check. We can do that by blocking the inlet with a finger and ensure the instrument indicates flow blocked. If we were using an attachment such as the two-piece bar hole probe, we would need to do the flow block check from the inlet of that probe. In this case, the three through holes at the end. And wait for a flow block indication. During use, pressing and releasing the A button will mute an alarm. Pressing and releasing the B button will access the quick menu. Pressing and releasing the C button will save the data on the screen. And pressing and holding the C button in a cleaner environment will auto zero the instrument. To turn on the tick feature, we move the wheel up on the right side of the instrument until we get a constant three to four ticks per second. As the instrument comes across the presence of gas, the tick rate will increase. To turn off the tick feature, turn the wheel back until it clicks. If at any time you get an NSR indication on the screen, that stands for non-standard response, and indicates that the instrument has come across a gas other than what it is calibrated to. After our investigation is complete, allow the instrument to clear out in a clean air environment, Return the gooseneck to the storage position, wrapping it counterclockwise around the instrument, and power the instrument off by pressing holding the A button.